Hey everybody, here's the newest installment of the Barroom Tip Jar. And boy, I am almost addicted. Well, I'm addicted to a lot of things, but I am almost addicted to this new bait. This is the BF Toad from Netbait. This thing is absolutely amazing. We went back and forth on this bait a lot while we were designing it. There's like, when you're designing a toad, there's a fine line between it being uh, heavy enough that you can throw it accurately, you can throw it far, you can skip it under docks, you can skip it under, you know, overhanging brush, all that kind of stuff. But yet it has to have not too much plastic. So your hookup ratio is really good. And we kind of got that with the BF Toad. So it's got a big deep, you can kind of see it, and you can see in the background right there. It's got a big deep channel that runs down the back of the frog and that's where the hook lays. So where the hook actually is in this frog, there's not a whole lot of plastic, but on the sides there is. So it actually keeps you from getting hung up as much when you're reeling it through just the slop and all the craziness that you'll throw a frog or a toad in. Uh, but, but yet the hook's laying down in that little channel. So your hookup ratio is still good. Um, the hook I use in it, Trocar, it's a TK140. Uh, this is a six aught. You'll see it's got this little spring keeper. We call it a hitchhiker, a little spring keeper on it. <laughs> spring keeper. It's almost like the frog is a spring peeper with the spring keeper. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Anywho, when you screw this up on there, you get the nose of your frog, and I like to kind of pinch it and get it started. And you get the nose of your frog. One thing you want to do when you get it up there is you want to make sure that that keeper is laying sideways on the hook eye. So just like that, laying sideways on the hook eye. So when you rig it, it's not trying to be twisted or anything like that and it'll track nice and straight. So then all I do is take it, bend the frog up a little bit so it lays straight, pull it into that little, into that little channel right there I was telling you about and that is perfect. That's like I said, TK140, and that's the new BF Toad. It's already got bait fuel in it. Does bait fuel work on something like this, which is a reaction bite? I don't know. I think you should have bait fuel on everything because it seems to work all the time. Does it, does it really matter on this? I don't know, maybe they can track it better, maybe not, but I'm putting bait fuel on everything. Heck, I might start putting bait fuel on crankbaits, I don't know. But anyway, new BF Toad, Net bait, American Bait Works, put your Trocar TK146 out in it, throw it across the nastiest stuff with braided line and just wait for them to chomp on it.